Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to another video. So, I uh, got all the calculations done for our corn yield. Uh, so, we ended with 75,871 liters of corn, uh, which is a little less than what we had of wheat. Uh, and it came out to be... Whoops. Uh, 215.3... Wait, no. Whoops. 2,000... 153 bushels, and then it was 215.3 bushels per acre, because uh, it was a 10-acre field. So, now, um, I fast-forwarded uh, a whole bunch of time. You can see we are in winter time right now. Uh, I did change the season's length to 21 days, just because I wanted to make it so that way it would actually snow, and if you can... And as you can see on the 14th day there, uh, there is a chance of snow. But if we look here at our price uh, for soybeans, it is $1,606 at the River Valley Mill. And you can see I have that marked right there. It's on the other side of the river. So we are going to go ahead and open up the shed. And we're going to pull the case out. And we are going to start selling... Uh, some soybeans uh, that's what we're gonna sell first here since that is what is on great demand and I know that I said that I wouldn't sell grain to the placeable sell point that we put at the dairy farm but if you look at these prices like look at sunflowers two thousand seven dollars a ton corn is one thousand one hundred and eleven dollars a ton I mean the prices are just crazy high so I think to help so that way we have enough money to do this upgrading that I want to do. Uh, I think we will just sell to it. I did sell all of the uh, silage. I worked on that while I was fast forwarding time. So we do have um, the money from that. And then uh, actually we need to return this Mack dump truck here as well. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, Alright, now what we're going to do here, we're going to hook the uh, auger here to the gravity wagon. So that way we can pull it over to the soybean bin versus trying to drive it over there six miles an hour at a time. Because we have a lot of work ahead of us in this video. So, alright. Drop this down. Alright, we're going to rock on over there. So it is currently 5.06 at night. It would help to not have to listen to that thing this entire time. Yeah, so there is a chance of snow there on uh, the Sunday in-game, but I don't think that it's going to be cold enough that day to actually snow, or like it'll snow, but it won't stay. I was kind of hoping that I could get it just so at least it would snow once and collect on the ground so that... You know, we'd have snow to move and whatnot, but it doesn't look like that's actually going to happen. At least not now. But, alright, let's dump that off there. We're going to get this stuff closed up. Okay, we need the hopper on there. get this positioned so that it will be easy to get under with our what you call it here our gravity wagon jeez 
So we have, I think it's two loads that we can haul with this. That uh, we, pretty sure it's two loads that uh, we have of soybeans, so. Remember, I think, let's see, this holds, yeah, 23,960 liters is what that holds, and I can't check it, of course. Now that that's uh, full of soybean already. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and we'll roll on down to the mill that we're going to. It is a bit of a trek, but that's okay. So, I've done some figuring, like I said I would, about uh, selling our selling some machines and buying some machines and all that stuff. So, um, the items that I want to sell. Uh, so, we're going to sell our cultivator, and we will get $6,692 for that. Uh, sell the 1206 of course all these prices I got just from figuring it out by uh, basically like if I were to sell just like this you know click it and sell it here um, oh this is actually 6769 huh anyway but those are just the prices that I got um, you know going in that menu there uh, of course, when I do sell things, I'm going to sell them directly. Uh, maybe anyways, I don't know. But if I do sell things directly, we'll get more money for them. But these prices are if I just sell them straight from the store menu. Um, and then for the 1206, we'd get $8,550. Uh, the big four-wheel drive international, we'd get $71,455 for our eight row planter we would get uh, three thousand nine hundred and nineteen dollars for uh, our um, 25 foot draper that we currently have would be eleven thousand five dollars uh, our header trailer would be one thousand six hundred and forty two dollars uh, the eight row corn header would be eight thousand six hundred and twenty three dollars the TR-96 would be $22,592. Uh, the 2100 would be $23,663. Um, and then selling the uh, placeable sell point that we have, that would give us um, $9,972. Uh, to sell our gravity wagon that we have here uh, would be $12,102. And then to sell the two John Deere drills would be $9,000. So roughly that total would be $189,275. So roughly we could get anywhere from $190,000 to $200,000 uh, by selling all of our equipment. Plus that placeable sell point. Which after you know selling that sell point now we won't use it again uh, for anything. Uh, maybe unless we have to buy it to sell certain a certain thing but then uh, all the items that I plan to buy uh, we have the summer's disc uh, that's 65,000 uh, the 1977 nine uh, versatile 950 uh, would be a hundred and thirteen thousand dollars so that's pretty expensive uh, the John Deere 7600 will be forty thousand dollars uh, the New Holland TR-99 Combine would be $49,000. The New Holland 980 CF 12-row corn header, that would be uh, $44,000. The 35-foot uh, Macdon Draper header, uh, customizing that to have the black label, would be $60,700. Uh, the... Uh, uh, 5.7 meter sunflower header that's in game uh, that would be $33,000 uh, the International Transtar 2 uh, customizing that to be black would be $56,200 uh, 
Uh, the Brent 757 wagon, uh, customizing that to have a green base and then a black uh, hopper extension. Uh, that would be $20,500. The John Deere 500 grain cart would be $7,950. The Vatterstad Tempo F8 uh, corn planter would be $61,000. Uh, the Great Plains 3S3000 HD grain drill uh, would be $69,900. So in total, buying all of our equipment, we're looking at roughly $620,250. So a pretty large amount to buy all that stuff, but, uh, you know... If we were to buy everything right this second, we'd still have, you know, like a little over $100,000. So we would be uh, pretty well off there. Um, yeah, I we'd still have a fair amount of money. But, uh, and then we'd add that $200,000. So we'd have, you know, 300000 which would be, it'd be about perfect. But uh, we will get, we will have quite a bit of money left over from... Uh, selling our grain as well, so uh, we should be we should have no problem buying all of those machines and uh, not having to take out a loan at all or anything. Now that we're on this kind of highway thing here, we'll turn our flashers on. So right there is where we are headed to go sell this. Okay, that's kind of annoying in cab there. So we'll have to see what uh, what kind of income we get off of these two loads of soybeans here. Or the load and a partial, I guess. It will be kind of exciting to have traffic on this map uh, once it gets added. Alright, so let's get into the cell point here and get... Oh, I just totally turned this thing over the wrong way. The uh, gate is on the left side, not the right side. Like I, for whatever reason, was thinking. Okay, so let's just check our finances and see, do we have any harvest income today I don't believe so I shouldn't nope okay cool so for our first load Oops. there we go alright so now we'll head back for another load and uh... I think I'm going to do a quick cut here, and I'll see you guys when we get back to uh, the farm.
Alright, and here we are, ready to get another load. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. Should just be this one last load, I think. Yeah. Wow, I got that one just in time. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move this, and then we'll, uh, we're gonna put it on this corn bin here. Oh wait, no, this is the wheat bin. But, that is what we're gonna put it on, uh, cause that's what we're going to work on selling next, uh, I think. No, I think we need to do corn next because that's what um yeah that's one thousand one hundred and eleven dollars right now so we need to work on selling that before we sell the uh soybeans but we'll work on that probably tomorrow we're already halfway through the video I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this sit right here, and then when we come back, uh, as we make our way back into the farmyard, we can swing over and grab it. So this is just over a half full load. And what is our price currently at for soybeans? Still $1,600. Uh, I think that's what it was before, too, but. So, we should still get a pretty decent amount. Um, you know, we got 38 before, so let's say we get 19,000, maybe? 18, 19,000. That wouldn't be too bad. We may be able to, well, I don't think we'll be able to sell a load of corn in this video, but we'll be ready to sell corn, and then uh, tomorrow we'll start, you know, tomorrow's video we'll sell the, all the corn, and then after that, um, I may fast forward just a little bit and try to get a little bit more money, or see if I can get the price to come up a little bit on the wheat. If not, then we'll just sell it. Uh, it doesn't look very promising that we're going to get to um, do any snow removal this winter. Maybe I shouldn't have extended my season's length, but oh well. That's kind of the funny thing that, you know, like, I think it's the longer that your season settings are, you know, like when you're, you know, like I fast forwarded to the first day of winter and then I set my season's length up to 21. So, of course, my temperatures were really high yet and still are. So, it helps to have it, you know, set from the beginning, uh, you know, or just starting at season at day one of uh, spring versus starting at any other time. So, maybe had I left it, it would have been a little better, I don't know. So, we may not do, get to do any snow removal this, um, this year, but next year we probably will. So, we are entering McGregor, Iowa. That is uh, what this town is supposed to be.
So I can see the uh, J&M is starting to get kind of dirty now. So yeah, once we get all of the grain sold, uh, cause let's see, so today is Wednesday, so then Thursday we'll be selling corn, Friday we'll be selling wheat, so maybe Saturday or Sunday we'll be switching over to version 2.1 of the map, um, it, well, Probably Sunday, because I think Saturday will probably work on, um, or maybe it'll be Monday. Maybe what I'll do is Saturday we'll sell, you know, we'll haul and sell all of our equipment that we're going to trade in, and then Sunday we'll buy and haul all of the equipment that we're going to, you know, be getting, and then Monday, um, I'll get, you know, I'll have everything set up. Uh, for switching over to 2.1 on Monday and we can start the week off on a fresh save game fresh map and with a lot of fresh machines and uh, a whole lot more land as well next season First time I've done a, much of anything in the dark in quite a while. Normally it is daylight when I'm doing stuff. These stoplights are really annoying because one, they take forever. And like in real life, if you went here and you took a right turn on a red light, unless there's a sign that says no turn on red, you can turn, you know, you can make a right hand turn uh, on there, but in game, yeah, you can't do that. It does not like that at all. Uh, it's like a $350 fine or $3,500 fine, something like that. I mean, it's a, it's a nice fine if you take a right turn where it's legal. Should just put no turn on red signs on the stoplights then. And it would make sense. Okay, so let's see what we get this time. Twenty thousand one hundred and six dollars. Cool, so So we made fifty eight thousand five hundred and twenty nine dollars off of our soybeans. So pretty reasonable amount actually. Uh, we are now over $800,000. Uh, so we are sitting pretty well. So yeah, we won't have to worry about taking out any kind of loan for buying our equipment. Which that'll be nice. We don't have to worry about paying back any loans. 
It would be kind of nice if there was an on-ramp and off-ramp coming off of there that took you down here instead of having to go all the way around. Of course, I mean, I'm thinking this is kind of realistic to the area, but it still would be nice. Stay green, stay green. Ooh. Yeah, that didn't stop soon enough. Alright, whatever. I'm just continuing on then. There goes $350 of our hard-earned money. <sighs> That's kind of annoying. Oh well. Whatever. At least it at least I was wrong about it being thirty five hundred dollars. Three hundred and fifty is a little bit better than thirty five hundred. And I think we just took out a sign there. Alright, so what we'll do is we will get back to the farm and then we'll hook onto the auger and we'll get that set up at the corn bin and then we'll get ready to sell corn. Uh, so basically we'll just get the auger set up and then get the gravity wagon underneath of the auger and then uh, we'll be able to call it a day. I'm sure if I really wanted to get realistic with this series, I could, uh, you know, when I end a video, like, it's actually the end of the day or something, you know, like, sit there and run my game on 120 times speed continuously, so, like, make the day go by as fast as possible, and then just, like, you know, you end the video and that's the end of the day. But I would have to have my season's length maxed out, I think. I think I'd have to have it maxed at the 28 days, at, or 24 days, excuse me, uh, that it can be set to. Because I don't think I would be able to, uh, to do all of that work in that time. Maybe I could, but I don't foresee that uh, actually being able to happen. The railroad track should have gone down just a little bit more. Or the crossing, anyways. Kind of a big bump. Now all this tractor needs is the, for the front wheels to wobble back and forth, and it would be perfect. <laughs> or maybe that, uh... No, that's the Internationals. I know our 1086 does that, and I think the 1466 did too, but I don't remember our 2290 case doing that. I don't know, I spent more time looking back in that thing than I did looking forward. I did spend a lot of time looking backwards in the 1466 as well, but I was looking forward a little more often while I was raking than I was when I was cutting. Uh, I've had a few people ask me about, you know, like, if we're done at the farm or what's going on there. Uh, we are done haying for the season pretty much. Um, last I knew, my uncle had like a couple of sloughs left to cut and bale and then he was done. Um, and then it's just hauling hay, so that's kind of just kind of work on it as you go, I guess. Um... I did haul a couple loads with my dad. Last time I was up at the farm, we hauled a couple. Uh, I think we hauled two loads before we left for, you know, to come home again. And then uh, the last time he was up there, he hauled a 
quite a bit more. Uh, he hauled a lot of hay, actually. Because when he was up there, he was working on raking and baling sloughs and then hauling hay. So he, he did a lot of hauling. But, uh... It's been a little while since I've been up there. I think maybe like a month now or so. Uh, like I said, last I last I knew, my uncle had a couple more sloughs left to do that were they were a long ways from the farm, so they were they were quite a drive. But all right, let's grab this guy and whip it around. That's what's so nice about this uh, grain auger, about being able to just pull it up behind it and um, hook onto it that way versus trying to back up this gravity wagon. That would be such a pain to have to try and back this thing up to hook onto there. I mean, backing these gravity wagons is not fun at all. So, if, like, if I can avoid it, I will. I hate having to try and back these things up. Because there's so many pivoting points that it just makes it insanity. Okay, so I'm going to drop the green auger right. Well, I'll pull it up here, I guess. We'll drop that right there. And we'll spin this around. And we'll leave it sit right there for the moment. Likes on it. I don't see why it would. It's a green auger. I mean, maybe if somebody added lights to it aftermarket, then maybe, but. A little far up there. Okay, can we start? We can start filling. Alright, we want corn. Pipe is in on this. Okay, so guys, that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.